everybody welcome back to this random journey it is day eight of the celery juice cleanse um i wanted to talk about this look how green this is um i went and got new celery from um the store from one of the stores here in town and the celery itself was like huge okay compared to the one i got from the uh, like kind of smaller town store Versus this is from like a uh, big company. <laughs> um, so anyways, this bunch was huge, but look how dark green this is. And the flavor is so strong. Um, so I have seven days of really strong uh, juice that I'm going to have to be drinking. And I have an apple in this and it's still really strong. So the younger the celery uh the better it tastes <laughs> this one is very strong and um while i'm not having as much trouble as i did bef at, like on the first day drinking the juice um i noticed a huge difference from the younger celery to the older more mature celery and this gave me a full jar and i put the same amount of water it's just because it was such a bigger it was such a big bunch so, I mean, if you're looking for volume and you don't care so much about the flavor, go for the more mature um, celery. If you are more worried about, like, um, quality of taste. And I think that if it's older celery, more mature celery, it doesn't have as much. This is my personal opinion. I don't know if it's fact. <laughs> um, but I would assume that the younger celery would have more nutrients. It's kind of like... Um, if you ever heard about sprouting, like sprouts have like tons of nutrients because they're just like little tiny little plants and um, they're packed full of, you know, the nutrients you need. So I would assume it's the same thing for like the celery uh, when it's younger is probably going to be have more of the vitamins and stuff that you need. Um, and then as it gets older, I feel like it would kind of lose uh, those nutrients. So. From now on, after the next seven days, because I bought seven days worth of <laughs> celery, um, after these seven days, I'm going to intentionally look for a place that sells the younger, nicer, in my opinion, uh, celery um, that gives me that more of a bright, almost, um, I want to say neon, but it's a very bright, vibrant, vibrant, that's a good word, uh, bright, vibrant juice instead of this kind of kind of looks like um algae water in my opinion like that's what that looks like to me algae water so oh <laughs> uh, yeah I just yeah so I'm drinking it though it's not as great but I'm still managing it because I've gotten used to uh the flavor of celery juice so that's a good thing uh today I have gotten a shower that's why my hair is kind of looking crazy because I just got out of the shower and got my hair combed out. I had a huge knot in it and it took me forever to comb it out and it hurt really bad. So, um, I'm just kind of letting my head rest at the moment. And, um, oh, I went, I was so proud of myself and I wanted to note that last night before bed, I caught up on all the dishes and I scr I, uh, shined my sink. So, uh, if you're following this journey, you know that I am attempting to implement three things into my day. I had to make my bed, um, get dressed to shoes, so get dressed for the day, and get myself presentable, um, and make my bed. Well, I have, this will be my third day, I've got to go make my bed, but if I go make my bed, this will be the third day uh, that I have implemented that successfully. And I had initially said that I want to do all three of those things in the morning, but that I really would like to attain having a clean sink um, with a shiny sink and all the dishes done before I go to bed. And last night was the first night that I was able to accomplish that task at, in the evening. So this morning, whenever I woke up, my kitchen was in order. And you can see I have my celery um, up on the counter here. You can see I have my celery stuff drying. I washed it as soon as I got done with um, making my juice. And it was just drying on the drying rack. So I'll go put that away. But 
and rinse out the sink and um, it's good to go for the, you know, until lunch, obviously, or snack. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was very happy about that and thought, you know what, I just need to tell them because I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so um, I am implementing those three things and hopefully can do them consistently. I've heard that it takes about 10 days to make something a habit. So if I can do it for 10 days consistently, hopefully it becomes a habit and sticks and then I can move on to kind of my next the next phase of what I want to accomplish with um, the fly lady or the secret slob system, whichever one you're kind of looking at. The secret slob, uh, her uh, YouTube channel is heavily based off of the fly lady system. So I probably would direct you to direct you to the fly lady system, even though I have not, I've probably only watched like two of the fly ladies videos. Um, and I just preferred watching the secret slob. She's very energetic and um, she kind of changes things to where I can understand them better or makes more sense for me personally. But maybe it won't make as much sense, uh, her methods won't make as much sense for you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. But the, uh, maybe the fly lady system would be a better fit for your house or your personality style, that kind of thing. So I encourage you to check both of them out and see which one will work best for you. Also, the other day, I kind of showed you guys that I was working on a puzzle, and I kind of talked about my frustration of how I enjoyed the, doing the puzzle. Um, and I do. I really enjoy putting puzzles together. But I have realized that they are such a distraction for me, especially this one. It was 2,000 pieces, and um, I found myself stopping for hours and just working on this puzzle. So... I've decided that I will not be doing that big of a puzzle again and I'm actually going to take a break from puzzles completely uh, for a while because I need to catch up on some things that and do some things that actually pertain to my life and um, are actually going to make an impact in my life. Whereas a puzzle, yes, it can make an impact or anything that brings us joy can bring an impact just by simply bringing us joy. However, I feel like it's a wasteful time. Um, there's other things that bring me joy that are, um, there's, there's a word, a certain word I'm looking for. Um, starts with a P. <laughs> that are productive. Okay, productive. Productivity is so important. Um, I feel like every day you need to get something accomplished. And yes, there's always the things like, you know, making my bed, um, cleaning the dishes, you know, doing laundry, all those kind of things are productive. Um, I feel like some something that you enjoy to do uh, should also be productive. So um, you could argue that putting a puzzle together is productive because you're accomplishing putting the puzzle together and you're getting joy from it. But to me, it's not productive because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, the puzzle is going to get torn back down is going to be put into a box and put back on a shelf or in this case given to my sister so she can do it but it's just I think it's very important to have things that bring you joy that also are productive so for an example uh, one thing would be um, maybe reading a book because you can learn and get knowledge um, it will grow your knowledge so you're it is being productive in the fact that like, if I'm reading a book on finances or if I'm reading a book uh, that's going to edify me so um, taking time for my bible reading or that kind of thing then there is something being ha something happening I'm getting joy from reading because I love to read um, but also I am gaining the knowledge from said book whatever that book is um, I don't typically read like just like novels usually the books I read are to gain knowledge so those are the types of books I personally like reading. Um, so yeah, that, that would be one example of something that I could do instead of putting a puzzle together that would give me joy and would also kind of be going towards that productivity of whatever thing I'm wanting to learn. Um, I've been trying to rack my brain of other things. Something I thought, well, I could sit down at the piano and, you know, try to learn it. <laughs> I've always wanted to learn the piano and that would be productive. Um... 
The problem is, is I sit down and I will play on it for a little while and then I'll get frustrated because I'll get to a point where I just want to play a song. And I've never gotten to the point where I can just play a song. Um, maybe, you know, a little diddly like uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or Mary Had a Little Lamb. But nothing like of substance and it really bothers me. Like I want to be able to play the chords and, and I know I'm complaining and if I just practice then I could do that, right? But... Yeah, I, I get frustrated really fast with it. So then the thing that I thought would bring me happiness and I would get productivity out of it brings me frustration and irritability <laughs> and I don't learn anything. So I really should probably just set a timer. I think if I set a timer, like say, I don't know, I'm going to sit down here for 15 minutes and, you know, work on this one thing on the piano Maybe then I wouldn't get frustrated because what I'll do is I'll sit down and I'll start plunking on it and I'll be up on there for like 30, 40 minutes and I will get frustrated, like very frustrated. And then I just kind of give up for days on end, months sometimes on end because <laughs> I get frustrated. So yeah, um, that would be something that would be productive and I would eventually <laughs> get joy out of. But anyways, I'm avoiding drinking this juice. Another thing that I personally, now a lot of people don't find joy in this, but I personally find joy in organizing, like cleaning up and organizing like an area. So for instance, right now, the drawer beside my, my bed needs to be pulled, everything pulled out of it, cleaned, and everything kind of organized and put back in. And that would give me joy. Like I would get happy and I would be accomplishing something. So I probably should do that and it would give me just that boost um, that I'm kind of looking for that a puzzle or maybe like a video game if you're into video games uh, would give to you. Now there is a difference between um, you know me just putting together a puzzle or spending quality time playing a board game with the kids and my husband. So we play like... Uh, Monopoly is one of our favorites. Um, another one we like is like Ticket to Ride. And we get together as a family and we'll play our board game. And I feel like that is being productive because um, you are coming together as a family. So you're uniting yourselves, so you're building your family stronger. So there, that would be the exception to the rule of a puzzle or a video game or a board game, that kind of thing. Um, being more on the productive side. Still not super productive, but it is more on the productive side because you are gaining uh, the closeness of being together instead of just, you know, mindlessly watching a TV show um, uh, or something like that. So anyways, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to finish this and then um, I'm going to go make my bed and then maybe, maybe I'll just clean out that drawer beside my, my bed today because I'm thinking... That sounds like a plan. That sounds like something that I could be productive doing and enjoy doing. So I will probably do that today.
Well guys, it's the end of day eight of our celery juice challenge and I'm getting ready to go in there and clean up the supper dishes and shine my sink. So that's how I'm gonna end today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you again tomorrow.